Hello and welcome back to the channel and now you join me for this week's Fallsathon guide called Holden Out for a Hero which wants you to own and drive the 1977 Holden Tirana A9X to complete all of the challenges with. So without further ado let's get stuck in and take a look at the car. So this is the 1977 Holden Tirana A9X. It will set you back uh, 130,000 credits from the auto show or you can probably pick one up cheaper in the auction house. I've also created a tune for you guys to use, it's called Forzathon, share code is 168981128 and hopefully this should help you out with some of the challenges. Talking of which, the first challenge here is nice and easy and it wants you to earn an ultimate burnout skill. Now the good thing is this car is rear wheel drive so it's super easy to do and there are two easy methods to doing it. First one as you can see here is by holding down the brake and the accelerator then slowly releasing the brake to perform a burnout as you can see here. It doesn't have to be a standing still burnout either. The next method is to come to a complete stop, hold the steering in one direction so completely to the right and just do donuts and as you can see you'll learn an ultimate burnout skill that way. It's easier as well if you do it on asphalt as on the dirt roads it doesn't always work. Now the next challenge again is really easy and it wants you to win a road race. So to do this, I went over to the Arch of Mulehay circuit, where of course I've got a blueprint set up for you guys to use. Share code is on your screen there. It's called Forzathon Easy. Again, it's one lap with no AI driver tasks. So you're guaranteed to win every single time. Um, and of course, you don't have to rush it if you don't want to, but it's over nice and quickly and there's no real challenge to it. So it should take you no more than just over a minute, depending on the tune you're using. Now the final challenge here wants you to beat any rival's ghost in your Holden. Now again, this could be easy, but it could not be depend on the rivals you have available. So to do that, go into the online tab, then down to rivals, then into horizon rivals, and then you can pick any of the sort of general race categories you want. I went for road racing and of course the Arch of Mulehay circuit as it's a racetrack that I know quite well. Then obviously you can pick whichever one you want, it doesn't matter. Then I'm going to pick the car class, so mine is A class, and as you can see in the top right hand corner is arrivals time. Now if no rivals time or details are popping up, what I would say is whichever race you've picked, quickly go in, do a quick lap of it so you get a time yourself, come back out and do the process again and get to this point. Now by pressing Y you can change the rivals, so there's one way you can do it is by going through all of the global rivals, I wouldn't recommend doing it that way as it will take quite a while. If you go into the filter of the ones near you of the time you've already completed, for some reason it will take you straight back to the top, so that's another ball ache. The easiest way is to go to your friends list or friends and club options. Now as you can see here there's someone who's a couple of seconds slower than me, so that's the obvious choice that I'd go for because I know that I could beat that one. The ones with the exclamation mark means that these people have not completed the rivals challenge properly they've hit a wall or rewinded so it didn't count so i'm going to go for the one minute 12 option as i know i can beat that one like i said your rivals times will obviously vary depending on the tune you're using and the time etc now the other thing to note is when you start a rivals event chances are the opponent's car is going to fly past you at the start so you may not win this in the first lap you may have to complete a second lap now i've just sped the footage up here i did manage to catch up within the first lap if the rivals you've picked are a lot slower than you then of course it will be a lot easier however if they're sort of level pegging you might have to go again so once you get to the finish line you'll be able to fly straight past and then your time will start from the time you've obviously crossed the finish line except for the fact you'll be going over 100 mile an hour so it should be a lot easier on the second lap if you don't do it on the first one anyway as you saw there i beat my rival so i don't need to continue lapping i can just finish off as you do with a normal rivals event Go through all of these and then it will pop up saying that the challenge has been complete because you've beaten the rival and you don't have to go back in and do another rival's race. I wouldn't if you really don't want to. Um, but that is how you beat a rival's ghost. Now, like I said, there's a lot of varying factors on the tune you use and the race you pick on what sort of times the rivals have. But if you go onto your friends list or club list, there's probably going to be someone that's slower than you unless all of your friends are hackers and have completed the race in like 20 seconds, in which case you're probably going to struggle. But hopefully this guide has helped you out. Now, of course, if you've got any questions about any of the challenges, please do let me know down below in the comments. I will try my very best to help you guys out. Um, like I said, I hope this guide did help. If it did and you're new to the channel, I'd very much appreciate if you could subscribe and dropping a like massively helps me out as well. But apart from that, folks, I want to thank you very much for watching. Make sure you stay safe and take care.